<sighs> Here we go. Week three of the van build. Oh my god, this bed turned into a nightmare. <laughs> Try and be positive, says Darren. Okay, we are again going off to be no, in queue. <laughs> So this is the bed, Mark three. Well, we've been on it a while. <laughs> so like what it. we've got is a new thicker piece of wood and it's a longer piece. So it fits right to the back of the bed. Darren's just shaped a little curve that matches the curve there in the corner. Mm. And this will hopefully now work. Should we pop it into place, see how it's going to look? Yep. So this one then will go into this little space here. That will sit quite flush to that. Just push it back a little bit, JD. Yep, that will kind of go there. Excellent. So while they get on with the finishing the bed, I'm just going to quickly plant my potatoes. Because it's the first nice day that we've had. So my soil's already, that's my garlic been there all winter. I'm just going to pop my little seed potatoes in and leave them. Okay, so after lots of adjustments and readjustments, uh, it looks as though we've finally uh, got a result with the bed. So I'll just show you uh, how that works. It's meant to be one person. Hooray! Woo finally. <laughs> Good morning everyone. I think it's Tuesday. I think it's the 16th of March. Yes, Jade's nodding. So it's Tuesday the 16th of March. Um, we thought we'd just give a quick recap of the evolution of the bed because it's practically finished now um, and we think we've got it to the point where it's easy for Jade to use it and she's going to get the best out of the space and a comfortable night's sleep kind of thing. So you've seen previously if you've watched the other vlogs about how we made this section of the bed which is going to be like the permanent up um, day settee kind of thing. So it's quite wide, it's the full width of the back, throw the doors open, have your cup of coffee, do whatever. Um, and then this section here is the sleeping section so it's made into a single bed um, and you've seen where we've managed to shape and what have you get the, the length out what we had to do yesterday when we went to B&Q was get a new piece of this lid 
um, which is a pull-out section and Darren's now set that onto two legs so it's easy to pull out because this space is going to be limited once we've got the the kitchen here where I'm sitting um, on a night Jade's not going to have a, an awful lot of space to be fiddling and pulling heavy things out which was sort of where we were going with the last model of the bed so we'll give you a quick demonstration and show you what it is um, just so you can actually see what we've done this is the original sitting up bed it has got two um, oblong holes in because originally the pull out piece this piece here um, was going to sort of sit with two um, bits of wood that protruded down into here to hold it in place and then when it lifted up and out they were just going to be sort of um, what's the word we're looking for air holes mm -hmm. yes so we are we do intend to drill some holes into here so that air can circulate underneath the um, the cushions and the mattress so this bit is now in its extended position so when it tucks in it just gets put away like that so when it's tucked away the legs are just ever so slightly off the floor but when it pulls out and sits on this um, what we're going to call a lip good good word then they reach the floor and it all becomes stable and flat yeah most importantly it's flat and it uses the full extent going from the back door all the way through through and comes right up to the back of the passenger seat um, and that sort of will help to hold our cushion in place when they come so we've also made this box and she's going to sort of use it to store things in but also it's a really good once we've got these little legs on Darren's going to make these two into nice little legs it sits on there and it makes <laughs> nope <laughs> we haven't worked it out fully that's underneath yeah it's going underneath then it'll slide in underneath and it's the exact height to give loads of sturdiness to this bed it's still got its um, function as a storage unit um, so Jade's sort of thinking like a waterproofs and her hiking boots that kind of thing and then when it's done it'll just get pulled back out again and sit away underneath out of the way and so this is how it'll normally look so that'll keep everything all hidden away under the bed during the day when it's in seat mode and give it a pull out just to show how it pulls out now yeah lovely excellent very nice okay let's go build a kitchen go so i've pre-cut all of these i've sanded the edges and i think the way it's going to work is So, 
So that's why we did it the way we did it before. <laughs> but this is why we're doing it this way. No. Yeah. Why? Because this is what we've got. Because <laughs> it's better. Because it's much better. Okay. And so we're going to do it the better way. The better way. Yes, the good way. Yes, okay. the good, okay. better way. How many times did you change the bed? This is the first oh. time we're changing the kitchen, all right? Exactly. Let it be. Good point. I like that. Good point. So our plan is we've got, this is going to be in an open shelf. We want it to be quite snug um, and easy access to the water spout. So it's going to be the top shelf. So just literally enough to get it in and out. Yeah. And hold it firm when it's, yeah. when it's driving. Then yeah. That'll do, yeah. And that'll be That's it. the kind of the uh, start of the build of the kitchen cabinet, yeah. I think that works quite well. We'll go for that, put it together. It'll look nice with sort of a, and it'll also give us something to attach, um, which would like little doors on this, which is going to be a cupboard in this section. Yeah. And that'll give us something to attach the doors to. Yeah, looks nice. Yeah, right. So this is the idea, yeah it's quite this good. This is sort of the skeleton now, we've got the side struts in and the strengtheners top and bottom just to keep it all square. Yep. This was sort of the open bit that she wants permanently open so she's always got access to water, that's why it's sitting just proud. Mm -hmm. So now we just need um, something out of all of the bits. Mountains of wood we've got yeah. to make the shelf. To make the shelf, yeah. Yeah. Looking and good. We've still got like that bit of height space as well. Because she needs to, to just to pull it out. Pull it out to kind of see it's got that yeah. lip on the top, hasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, because that's just like. Yeah. Excellent. Like Looking really good. So just something out of our wood pile. To make a shelf. To make a little shelf. That's the job now. What Jade's doing is taking apart an old quilt cover that we made out of some old sheets <laughs> so it's now getting the third revival and life and there's enough here to cover both her pieces of form for the bed and the settee so it's just a normal um oh come on in then max make yourself comfy Good lad. There we Thanks. Go. Beautiful model, aren't you? <laughs> so it's just um, normal cotton sheet and fabric, and it'll cover and give the um, form just a, a cover. And we'll do some little ties on one end so that it can be taken off for washing, and then she'll just have our normal sheet and bedding over the top of it when she makes her bed in the van. <laughs> so what I'm doing at the moment is just trying to make a mark. We need to scoop out um, for this big metal part which is the lock on the sliding door. Um, because this is the back of the kitchen which is going to cover up all of the different edges and try and make it more complete. We can't bend it properly. You can. Oh well there you go. So we've cut that piece out to go past this metal block part. Then we've got the end, kitchen end piece and it's come up and come flush with the shelf that we put in. So now we just have to figure out how to attach the back to cover all of this. 
yeah. and make it look square and straight and finished. Yep, so just a quick recap of what we did yesterday, focused on the kitchen, uh, we have all of the carcass sorted out, um, so we got the correct size and height, we built in the shelf for the water bottle, so it just protrudes slightly so she's got access to the nozzle, got the, the backboard shaped in really nicely behind the driver's seat, sculpted around the shape of the van and fit in underneath the big shelf above the cab. The backboard is in two sections as, at the moment. One is the majority of the actual carcass, which is straight. The second one is just starting to um, curve inwards with the shape of the van. And now today's tasks are to get this last section, which has the biggest curve because not only is it curving up to the roof of the van, it's also curving in and round where the cab is narrower than the back of the van. So that's um, our first focus for today. Then we're going to put in two shelves, one, um, well, two quite narrow ones. The top one is for our little cooker and the second is for our washing up bowl and all of our cleaning products. Then that will leave a big space in the bottom for food and pans and that kind of stuff. Yeah. yeah. So this is the difference. That's the gap where yeah. the van is wider at the back and then it curves up to the ceiling, but it's fully touching at the front. Yeah. Okay. So this is what we have to work out today. So we think we've figured it out and strangely it worked first time this time. Yeah. So um, the, the length, we knew should be right from our initial measurements. So what we've managed to do is just take off a curve where the van curves because that's the greatest in curve as well as curve around the door. Too many curves. Yeah. Um, but what then it actually meant was the, the panel could yeah. then sit back. It's not flush against it, but it's as close as we can. Yeah. So there is a very slight um, angle here. Yeah. But it gives loads of room. It's fitting quite well. Yeah. I'll and go and film it from the other side as well so we can see it from the other yeah, side. Because you show get you it from the like back. a different kind of a view yeah. of it. Yeah, I'll go and do that. But that looks good. And then I'm just going to put a couple of screws in here, here, and here just to help with any like vibration and we have got a, um, a wedge that's here to stop any further vibration on this side. Cool, we'll have a look at that around the other side. Brilliant. So luckily we've got a door on this side of the van as well so we can kind of see how that works. I'm trying to get a good position. There we go. So this is it from the other side. Fits quite snugly. And if you can see up there, quite snugly, quite snug fit. And then we've just used this auto carpet here, which is glued on in order to hold this top panel onto this bottom panel. Um, um, so that should no, keep those two nicely together. And then from the other side, as Elaine's just mentioned, we're going to wedge, wedge it in and screw it in. Good evening, everyone. So today's been quite a productive day. We've moved on quite quickly with everything uh, today, which is unusual. It usually takes forever to do everything. So the, uh, the kitchen is now looking really, really good. I'll just show you uh, how that looks. Okay, so we've built the frame. As you can see, we've put the uh, you know, the drinks, well, the water container, the cooker and Jade's sink in place. Uh, as Elaine said earlier, this will be the place here for Jade's cans, tins of food and things like that. Uh, I've got a little bit of an overlap just here um, so the Jade can sit there and you know, work on a laptop or whatever. And uh, what we're doing now is we've just sealed the top here. We've sealed it with some uh, PVA glue. Um, and then we're going to put some tiles 
on the top here, uh, which we've uh, which we purchased today. Um, Jay dropped opted for some nice plain white tiles, and yeah, and that's looking quite sturdy and secure. Uh, yeah, uh, just filled in these gaps along here as well, just to keep that a little bit tidy. Because we're going to do one layer of tiles on the back, and then it's going to be painted uh, for the rest of the. Oh, focus! There we go. So yeah, so that's been the day today. It's been quite a good day. Um, definitely quite a productive day. So uh, we'll catch you again in the morning. Um, I think tomorrow we're going to be doing some tiling. Elaine's going to be covering the uh, the foam for the bed. Uh, as well. So uh, again, another another busy day ahead of us. So we'll catch you in the morning. Okay. Because I had concerns over the uh, amount of water in the fix and grout that you use, um, and this is MDF, I've just sealed it with a couple of coats of PVA glue. So that's what I'm doing now. That's just the second coat of PVA. Mm -hmm. So it's all over the front. It's down in the seal before we put the uh, worktop on, I sealed the edges and then up one layer of tiles where the little splashback is going to go. Mm -hmm. So we're just going to leave that to dry, crack on with a few other little jobs and um, come and tile that this afternoon when it's dry. Cool, yeah. looks good. It's getting nice. It is. Lovely. While the PVA on the worktop has been drying what I've done this morning is make a door so um, we're just using up all the leftover scraps of wood now and these were leftover bits of tongue and groove um, this is the back side of it so I have cut them to shape sanded all the edges glued them together along the tongues and the grooves and then these bits with all of our store cupboard contents sitting on them because we only have two tiny weeny clamps um, these are now glued on to um, strengthen the boards all together um, with gaps missing out for where the door closes um, and we've got cross members on the carcass of the kitchen <clears throat> so hopefully this will work out right and uh, anybody else use Whatever you've got lying around the house to hold down bits while you're waiting for your wood glue to go off. So the PVA is all dry. It's had two coats. You can see it's sort of slightly different colour. Um, feels really good. Feels sealed. So we're going to um, measure out our tiles. It's nice and simple. There'll just be some straight cuts down the back and probably some straight cuts and then a small square in the back corner um, so all the sharp edges will be tucked away at the back and then covered over with the one line of tiles that's going along as the splashback yep and here's Lovely. the tiling inspector yes <laughs> <laughs> so all the glasses on so you can see what you're doing So I think we'll leave it there for this week. Uh, we've done quite a bit, it's almost done. There's just a few more small finishing touches and for Jade to make it her own space. So we'll leave that for the van tour next week. So take care, hope you're all having a good week. Stay safe and thank you for watching. Bye now.